The next slide you see, arithmetic progression, geometric progression, sum to infinity, and word problem. What question is this in your paper? Arithmetic and geometric progressions, your APs and your GPs. Now this question, remember we're having an overview this afternoon, not physically doing the sums, so you have your APs and your GPs. Now I have here that for the AP, this is your formula, Tn is A plus N minus 1D. What does the A stand for? My first term. N is my number of terms and D is my difference. How do you know that you're working with the AP? Your difference is the same. T2 minus T1. Then the next one is your GP, geometric progression, where you use the formula Tn is A times R to the power of N minus 1. Grade 12s, please. We don't always tell you whether it's an AP or whether it's a GP. You check. If your difference is the same, it is an AP, T2 minus T1. And if your R is the same. Now, what is R? Remember, R is term 2 divided by term 1. That is R, and that works for a GP. And how do you get D? D is term 2 minus term 1. Then you know you're working with an AP. Okay, fantastic. Then I wrote here in number 3. Please look out for this. This is so popular. To work out the sum to infinity, you're going to use the formula A divided by 1 minus R. This is also on your formula sheet, grade 12s. You don't have to stress, but I want to talk about that sum to infinity. You cannot work out the sum to infinity for AP. You know that doesn't work. The sum to infinity is only for a geometric progression. But when? When your R is between minus 1 and 1. Now, you, I told you that R is for a geometric progression. Grade 12s, if R is between minus 1 and 1, then you know you have a converging sequence. A converging sequence. And then you can work out the sum to infinity. Infinity. And the sum to infinity is A divided by 1 minus R. What is A? The first term. What is R? Term 2 divided by term 1. Remember converging sequence. I tell my matrix, if you see the word converging, you immediately write down R is between minus 1 and 1. When you see that word, R is between minus 1 and 1. And you know in that question where you see the word converging, they're going to ask you to work out the sum to infinity. Go to your formula and it's A divided by 1 minus R. The last thing that I wrote down here is in this question, they usually ask you a word problem. Now, I know word problems for some of us is quite difficult. We struggle with them. But what I want to say is you read the question. You, st you see, do I have a constant difference or do I have a R? And that will tell you which formula to use. Try and check. I'm reading my word problem. Okay, my difference is constant. How do I get my difference again? Term 2 minus term 1. Term 3 minus term 2. If, if it's not the difference that is constant, then you look for your ratio. What is the ratio? Term 2 divided by term 1. So in your arithmetic progressions, your geometric progressions, you will have a word problem. Also look out for converging sequences.